Welcome back everyone, this is Dark Silence from Dark Silence Reviews coming at you with an achievement guide. This is actually a triple tier ch achievement guide. This one's going to get you the godly reward, the worthy achievement and or trophy, and for defeating one sister of Lyrion. Uh, I would recommend doing this when you're at least level 280. Um, obviously it gets easier depending on the levels that you are but to, to start off uh, I'm going to show you the locations of the the sisters so there's one right here on the, so the side of East Anglia so you go to this one right here this is this is the one I think uh, a little bit less strong uh, and there's the one right here kind of in the Spalding ruins or whatever and then the third one is going to be right here. This is actually the strongest one. I already defeated her, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna make this a little bit of a longer guide because I have to go to a crypt after I defeat them too uh, in order to get the helmet and the, the, the hammer. Uh, before you do this, I would highly recommend uh, saving your game because it can be buggy and if you defeat them and you don't pop the achievement you want to have the ability to go back to an earlier save so just save a manual save uh this is just for precautionary measures because the game has been buggy for some people so keep that in mind anyhow uh, going on to defeating each one, you're going to have to go in and defeat each one. one. So you're going to interact with their little before. kills or, I guess, shrines that they have here, so if you're bad, and defeat them. Uh, I would recommend having the harpoon on. Speak! Not for yours, unless you tempt me. Liar, liar, liar! You will join them, all the unkind dead! Now I open the scars of my heart! Seder, you sing troll! Breathe deeply! I also make Watch sure that you I have a smoke. good amount of arrows. And listen as I break your bones! <laughs> Now my blood screams! <laughs> A scream! I shall quiet! A greater darkness fuels my rage! Spirit of my father's That's rage! Really cool boss characters. Me. Cackling and welching. Let rest your demons. So I got his plate armor there. So that's one more of the Lyrian sisters done. The third one is the hardest, like I said. Definitely have that harpoon equipped. It's going to be rough. She teleports a lot. Okay, so the closest uh, one to teleport to would be this one here teleport there for the second one I don't have the powers of fast forwarding unfortunately so I apologize for that so hopefully like you get a good description on how to defeat them from that. that one was pretty easy probably the easiest one in my opinion but I'm already level 300 something so I think the horse actually swims a little bit slower. It's best to call him on the um, land here. Okay, we're gonna rush over here. Try to defeat her next. 
they're all pretty badass characters, honestly. The um, the boss fights are actually really, really cool. Compared to the rest of the game, I think uh, these three are definitely not people you want to trifle with. Uh, sometimes there's little like health things on the sides too, so keep that in mind. What's the next shrine? have come for spoils. Was our dignity not enough? You return again to mock our family? To make light of my father's sacrifice? <coughs> Mad Seer, you have no fight with me. Which of the traitor kings sent you? Was it Edmund? Burgred? Allah? I followed the orders of no king, nor will I bow to you. You dare intrude! You will be swift like the others! I will tear you apart! Harpoon is literally one of the coolest. Strike. Teleport out of their little circle. She's more poison. <laughs> you have done well, warrior, lasting this long. But now I hold nothing back. If I must take your eyes, I will! That was all three of those ones. Pick up some arrows. All right, the next thing I've got to do is teleport down here to this area. Which one's closer? It's this. And then you're gonna get the Thor armor set, basically. Might as well equip that now. Well, actually, I'll wait because it's a little bit weaker right now. <laughs> you need to have, I think, all three pieces in order to open the, uh, Best not to draw the gate here. Crypt and or tomb. Defeating one of them would have popped you an achievement already. Ah, well said. You have stocks for a hundred moons. You will live a long and hearty life. But father, you are not too ill. So it's going to be in this area. It's on a... Can't miss the continent. It's just really... Hard to uh, figure out exactly where it's at. I believe it's right here somewhere. So let me teleport to this one. That's actually another little battle you can do.
It's easy to get confused in these little maps, uh, this one specifically, because everything looks very similar on the islands. You kind of got like a rough patch, like a rough area where you're gonna get it or where you're gonna acquire this stuff. And you can miss something. Okay. But you need all three armor pieces, so you need to defeat all three of them in order to uh, open the tomb up. And that's where you get the... Uh, the helmet. So at this point you got to be careful because it is buggy, it can bug out on you, unfortunately. Treasures there. This is the entrance. There's a book, book upstairs too. So this is where the journey really begins. There's extra little treasure chests and stuff like that downstairs too. So you're welcome to grab those as well while you're down here. I would recommend it. I mean, you can't go wrong with extra materials and extra money and stuff.
treasure chest there. The dagger I won from the woman in the swamp. It must go here. Now, this is going to be the helmet. You should pop the achievement right here. And this is setting up in order to get Thor's hammer. Thor's hammer is going to take a little while longer, but this should set you on the way to do it. A king's fortune, guarded well by his wayward daughters. Find the treasure down here. And that's Thor's helmet. I should unlock the godly reward achievement. She so should have the whole set. at this point because you defeat the three of them then you get the helmet and it sets it up for a way in order to um, start getting the rest of it now I'm gonna explain how you get the rest of the stuff which is gonna take much much longer Thor's helmet here. It's actually pretty cool. Anyhow, and then I got, the, I think, the bracers here. It's in a, there it is, the gauntlets. So we have the full set of armor. We got the, the Thor's breech, breeches. We got the Thor's gauntlets, the helmet, and then we got the Thor's battle plate. Now, let me go into detail on, on how you're going to set up the rest of it. In order to grab the cape, which is going to be the t this top part right here, it's going to be like the cloak but you're going to get the cape in order to acquire the cape you have to eliminate all order of the ancients members um, that's going to happen right after you complete the story really so you're going to have to start hunting them down right after that and then um for the rest of it you're going to have to finish the entire story which is something that you're going to need to do uh, after you grab the cape um, once you finish all the order of the ancients the last should should uh, finish up so the first step is actually defeating all three of these daughters which is going to get you all three pieces of the armor or four pieces which is the helmet the you know the the, the arms the legs and then the, uh, the chest piece so 
that would be step one. So this is basically step one and two. And then you come down here to, to get step two. So uh, the next step is defeating all the order of the ancients, like I said. So step three, if you've gotten this far, you just have to defeat all the order of the ancients members. Um, and that should acquire you a leeway in order to get the, the hammer and the cape. Uh, I would also recommend getting the zealots done, which is probably also going to be needed. So keep that in mind. Um, that's for the full set, I believe. So the, the zealots tend to travel from place to place. I still have a little tiny bit of work to do, but when you get all of these people done, you're going to get, I think, two more pieces. I believe it's going to be the shield and the cape. And then after that, you're supposed to get the hammer. But uh, the zealots, they travel. So you got to kind of like keep tune on where they are and when they are in certain parts of the map. Um, but yeah, that should, uh, that should basically cover the most of it. Uh, when it comes to Thor's hammer, after I finish up all of this, I'm going to come in with another video on how to and where to get the hammer, which is probably going to pop up as a quest right away at the end. So you just need to equip all of the pieces, the cape, the battle plate, the helmet, the gauntlets, and the the bridges and then uh the location should pop up after you equip all of them so next next step if you're if you're as far as i am uh just just get all the all the zealots and all the ancients done and you should be on your way anyhow hopefully this helped you along the way to get the helmet that was for the godly achievement or the god the godly reward which uh is to grab thor's helmet the achievement pop for me which is pretty good uh hopefully you guys get that one too and you set it up in order to get the achievement at, as well and you should have popped two uh one for fighting the sisters and another one for uh, defeating one and then another one for defeating all three which is the helmet and doing this this tomb here anyhow hopefully this helped you on the godly achievement and set you up for the worthy and now that you know all the steps to do and i will be back with the worthy achievement with how easy it probably is after you defeat all these people Anyhow, once again, thank you all for watching. If this helped you out and you got the godly reward and it helped you set up for the worthy, you're on your way. If you're a little bit farther than me and you already defeated all these people, then you probably just need to equip everything after you grab the helmet. And then you're good to go. And it should pop up on the map. Uh, once again, thank you all for watching and happy gaming, everyone.